your skin, Big Bandish. Hi guys! I'm happy to be back and today's video is going to be on the topic of thyroid disease and acne. More specifically, thyroid diseases and your skin. So for those of you who may not know, the thyroid is a gland that's in your neck. It looks a little bit like a butterfly and it's responsible for secreting hormones that affect things like our growth and development. And these thyroid hormones can actually affect things like our health, our energy levels, our mood, uh, our weight, and even things like our skin. About 20 million Americans have some type of thyroid disease and it's estimated that about one in eight women will experience a thyroid problem in their lifetime. Thyroid disease is therefore pretty common, so you might be wondering if maybe you have a, an underlying thyroid issue that could potentially be contributing to your skin issues. And so that's what today's video is going to be about. So if you've been watching any of our great videos or if you've been reading any of the great articles that we have on the blog, you probably already know that the condition of your skin really depends on a general overall status of how your body is doing. So when I say that the functioning of our skin really does depend on things like our thyroid hormones, I mean that it, it can affect things like your hair, your hair growth, hair loss, it can affect your sebaceous glands, it can affect skin thickness. The two more common thyroid issues that we all probably know a little bit about already are hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. Hyper is an overactive thyroid, it produces too much of the thyroid hormone, and hypothyroidism is underactive, it doesn't produce enough. So when we're talking about thyroid disease in our skin, there are some overlapping areas, but it really does depend what type of thyroid issues we're talking about. For example, some common skin manifestations of hypothyroidism are dry, cold, pale skin. In some really severe cases, the dryness can be very extreme, especially in the buildup of the skin on the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. Because of the way the thyroid hormones may affect vitamin A metabolism, it also might be common to see a type of yellowing in the skin. In hypothyroidism, hair loss is quite common as well on the scalp, on the eyebrows, the pubic areas and usually the nails will also become a little bit um, quite brittle and also quite thick. However, one of the most telltale signs of hypothyroidism is a, an overall swelling in the body. So this is usually most um, apparent right under the eyes. The bags under the eyes are quite puffy. Your nose may broaden, your lips may puff up. And this is all due to the buildup of a ground substance in the foundation of the skin. We also see some instances of eczema and even delayed wound healing. When we're looking at hyperthyroidism, we see some similar themes in skin issues, some cutaneous manifestations, but we also see some new ones. As in hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism can also result in hair loss. But quite unlike hypothyroidism, we see a marked difference in the moisture of the skin, whereas hypothyroidism tends to leave your skin very dry, hyperthyroidism actually makes your skin quite moist. And you also see excessive sweating, so these two factors quite set it apart from hypothyroidism. So you can see that there are actually various ways that um, a malfunctioning thyroid gland can actually affect our skin. It can affect our sebaceous glands, as I said, it can affect our hair growth and even our skin thickness. So when we look at some of the effects that our thyroid gland potentially has on our body, for example, the way it interacts with vitamin A metabolism, that may be a contributing factor to any acne that may be caused by a thyroid issue. So when we look at hypothyroidism in particular and you see the issues with skin buildup and the dryness of the skin and even the prominence of eczema, it may very well be logical to infer that thyroid issues could potentially lead to acne as well. And there's also some evidence that the thyroid also affects certain sex hormones, which may or may not increase testosterone levels in certain cases. And we do know that in some cases, testosterone does lead to increased acne. But after all this is said and done, everything we put together, we know that the thyroid hormone can affect our overall well-being. It can affect our skin in many ways. But do we have any evidence that it actually can cause or worsen acne? 
So in order to try and find the, this out, we have a couple of studies that we can look at. Some of them were larger studies, some of them weren't very well controlled studies, and some were really small. So it's, it's important that we're careful what conclusions we draw from these studies because larger studies are definitely needed to make a definitive decision on whether or not thyroid issues do cause or worsen acne. But there are a few interesting points that we can pull. In one of the studies, women with post-adolescent acne were compared to healthy controls with no acne and they found that there was a higher incidence of thyroid issues in the women who had acne, but that that wasn't necessarily a strong conclusion because it was, although controlled, it was a very small study. In another study, they studied women who had thyroid issues and compared them with controls who did not have any thyroid issues and they tried to discover what types of skin manifestations there were in the group that had the thyroid issues. So 56% or so of the women in the thyroid group actually did have skin manifestations. So about 50-50, even though it wasn't a very large group, you see that skin manifestations are pretty common. But in this uh, skin manifestation breakdown, acne vulgaris and acne rosacea were only about 10% of those 56%. One of the limitations was the fact that this wasn't a higher incidence of acne than what was found in the control group. So what this means is there's evidence that there is acne in thyroid disease, but that it's only the same amount that we would expect from a quote unquote healthy population. Taking these two studies, which didn't really infer that there is a, a causation between thyroid issues and acne, uh, a third study found that there was no correlation that they could find. So really what we need to take away from this is that there is a potential for thyroid issues to result in acne or to exacerbate acne. We've seen its ability to worsen or um, create other skin conditions, so it's a definite possibility. But unfortunately at this time, there's not a lot of compelling evidence to suggest that it is a primary issue. It seems to be more of an outlier issue, maybe in people that are already predisposed to acne. So if you don't really have any of the other symptoms of hypo or hyperthyroidism then, but you do think that maybe your thyroid is going to need a little bit of extra help, then really it just boils down to improving your lifestyle. Things like diet, exercise, sleep, all of that stuff is super important when it comes to your thyroid health. If you are manifesting any of these skin symptoms, if you're manifesting any of the other symptoms of um, hypo or hyperthyroidism, weight gain, fatigue, anything like that, if you even think you have a thyroid issue, it is super important that you see your doctor and you get the necessary test because thyroid issues are easy to control with the appropriate medication. So definitely see your doctor if you think that you have a thyroid issue. I hope you found this video useful. I know the information maybe wasn't as exciting as you would hope it would be, but there's evidence there and you know, thyroid issues are things that we can definitely control with modern medicine and a good lifestyle. So don't be discouraged if you think your acne might be affected by a thyroid issue because there is definitely hope. There's a hope